If you are not enrolling children um, as fast as you'd like to, you have traffic, you're getting calls, you're booking tours, but if you are not enrolling more kids, then you may have a sales pitch problem. My name is Christina Rizakos, and as a founder of a marketing agency, I know that sales, especially when we're dealing with child care, um, is something really, really difficult. Because obviously, if you're in this business, I'd like to think that it, it's your calling in life to work with young children. Um, and it takes a special human being to work with kids and open their own center or their home daycare and really want to do this type of work. That being said, that does not stop you from being a business owner. And a lot of the times, especially with my clients, when I'm talking about, you know, tour processes and what that looks like and, you know, what their sales pitch is like, I get a lot of pushback because, they, they, they don't feel as though they're salespeople, right? They don't, they don't feel as though they're selling anything because, again, they love what they're doing and um, they don't feel like they have to sell it in order to be able to grow and to be profitable. But that is a huge mistake. Anyone in business these days, or it doesn't matter if you're selling candles, T-shirts, clothing, uh, child care, whatever, whatever that is, you have to be able to sell someone on your services. You have to be able to sell someone your product. And in order to do that, you really have to think about your business like a business, right? You're exchanging your time, your expertise, um, and your services in exchange for money, right? You're offering a service and somebody's paying you for it. But in today's world, competition is everywhere, right? And we really have to start thinking about that. You know, over the last few, few years, um, a lot of families' um, routines have definitely been shuffled around, changed, um, and a lot of changes have happened in a lot of families, right? So, as a business owner, you have to make sure that not only um, you know how to sell someone, but you know how to do it well, you know how to optimize it, um, and that you know how to cut through the noise and you know how you stand out from your competition. And you have to be able to put all that together so that when you are attracting clients and when they are calling you or messaging you or you know booking visits with you, that you're able to sell them on your services so that you can grow your business. If you don't, if you're too shy, if you feel weird, if you feel bad, if you feel icky and you just don't want to do this, then you're going to struggle to fully book your program. And if you struggle to fully book your program, you're going to have money issues every single month. You won't be able to cover expenses, overhead, um, and you're just going to be stressed out all the time. So in this video, I wanted to talk a little bit about your tour process and what types of things you should be including in your tour process, how to view it and how to make sure you are diagnosing it well so that you are increasing your chances every time someone books a tour with you to convert them into a paying client. Okay. So if you're watching this video, I'm assuming that you're running a home daycare and you're getting traffic on your website, you're getting messages, people are calling you for information and that you're getting people to actually show up, up for a visit, right? Um, and you're having a hard time closing them, right? You're having a hard time really enrolling them. Now, there's a few things that may be wrong, okay? The first is a, a lack of tour process altogether, right? The type of tour process that where you're kind of winging it, you're trying to put a few things together, you're trying to share something, you're stressed out when you're giving this tour, you just don't know what to say. And, and when you do that, parents can sense that, okay? So a mom and dad is not going to say yes to someone that doesn't know what they're, you know, it looks like they don't know what they're doing, but also that doesn't have confidence in themselves, and, you know, as a business owner, as a childcare provider, you want to make sure that the moms and dads that you're attracting off of your website, off of social media, right? You want to make sure that they know you, they like you, they trust you so that closing them becomes a little bit easier. Okay. The other thing you want to think about is when someone does show up for a tour with you, what do you do? Like, do you have something to give them, right? A marketing material, social proof, reviews, testimonials, things that they can actually take home with them and review later on in the day, right? No one's going to sit and read an entire pamphlet in front of you. But if you hand them over something that's packaged really nicely, um, chances are that when they're having tea at night or when they're having coffee in the morning or, you know, when they're, they have a few minutes in their day, they can actually sit and read through your curriculum, for example. They can read through your pamphlet. The other thing you want to think about as well is how do you sell your services? Do you just kind of think that, well, well, just, we're just a daycare and, you know, we kind of do that, what everybody else is doing in the area, or do you really position yourself as an expert in the industry, as an expert in your field? You have so-and-so years experience, you've raised 
you know, X amount of kids, you've babysat all your life, uh, you quit your daycare job, and now you're you're starting your home daycare, because you want to work for yourself, and then you want to offer, you know, amazing services, um, you have to be able to communicate that you have to be able with your words to share this with a mom and dad that is visiting. Um, and most importantly, you want to be able to um, communicate this very important thing, why should they say yes to you? versus your competition. And we know the competition is a real deal, right? So really think about this. When you're putting your tour process together, what types of stories are you sharing? What are you sharing about your program that is different from the daycare or the bigger center down the street, right? You always have to be thinking about that. How are you going to position your daycare as the go-to service? So when they are looking for childcare or their friend or their aunt or somebody's looking for daycare, they know who to refer. You really have to position your services like that so that they can see them like that. If you don't really care or if you're just shy or you just don't want to share about things, you don't know what to say, and you feel weird, then you're going to start losing clients, right? We want to make sure that right from the beginning, we have a strong tour process to follow. We know what kind of marketing material we're giving them. We kind of know what the journey is going to look like when they walk through the door up until the end, right? And really just communicate this. Um, to the best of your capability. And again, it's going to look weird at the beginning. It may feel weird at the beginning. You may not get it right at the beginning, but that's okay. But the more you practice and the more tours you book um, and the more more clients that you sign up, you're going to see that this is going to make a huge difference in your business, okay? So thinking about where you fill in the gap, thinking about your unique selling points, thinking about uh, other moms and dads that have gone through your program and what types of things they've said about you, what types of wins have they gotten for their kids because of you, thinking about people that you've worked with in the past and what they had to say about you, try to get all these things on paper, on video, and really put them in your marketing material as social proof so that parents can feel as though, hey, this person knows what they're doing, right? Look at all these amazing reviews that she's getting. She obviously knows what she's doing. This is a safe, amazing place for my kid, right? The other thing you want to share about is, again, where you fill in the gap, your unique selling points, and really dig that in. Like, you really have to get it in their minds that, oh, this daycare offers so-and-so services. You know, the other daycares don't really have that. This person did the research and she figured out that this is missing in our community. And guess what? She offered it, right? So you really have to do your homework and put all this together. And lastly, when you're you're bringing someone through your, your daycare and you're showing them around and you're sharing, you want to always leave them with a, a call to action, meaning you want to know if they're interested and if they're not ready to make their decision on the spot, because let's say they're visiting a few other places in the area, then you want to give them a deadline, right? You want to say, okay, well, I'd love to have, you know, little Johnny, um, you know, um, integrate with us next week, for example. Um, I would love to hear an answer by tonight or tomorrow at this time, because if not, then I'll have to pass on to the other mom and dad that's waiting to, to you know, um, waiting for a place or waiting to book a visit with us, right? So, and then you leave it at that. And then when that's done, then you want to send out a feedback form or you want to call them if you don't want to put a feedback form together, because this is the only thing that's actually going to tell you what you're doing. And if you're doing it wrong, what's working, what's not working is by asking for feedback. And I know a lot of the time we don't want to hear negative things. We don't want to hear what people have to say about us, but you cannot take this personally. It's just business. You are in business for yourself and your family, you want to be able to take care of the kids and to have an amazing program to offer quality, but you're not going to get there if you don't know what's wrong with your sales pitch, right? If you are getting parents in the door, calling you, they're getting in the door and you're not converting, you're not enrolling, then you want to know why, right? And I'll give you a quick example. I was working with a daycare. This was a bigger daycare and they were running ads. Uh, people were clicking. They were asking for information. They were calling to book a visit. And then when they were coming through the door, they couldn't sign anybody up and they knew that there was a problem. Right. And I and I when I was talking to my client, I, I told her, I asked her, did you ask for feedback? Did you send out a form? Did you call them? Did you send a text to see why all these people are showing up? But they're saying no, that they don't want the space. And she came back with the answer. She, a lot of the parents that she actually um, asked for feedback from told her that, you know, we love the center, we love the way it looks outside, we love the yard, we love all the things, the teachers, but when we come in, it just looks run down. The walls don't look like they're not freshly painted, the toys look old, it just looks run down and old. So we decided to take our kid and go to another daycare because we just felt it was more, you know, pleasing to the eye and more fresh looking. So she had, she got her answer. So guess what they did? 
they started renovating. They freshened up the paint and they moved things around. They invested in a little more toys and that made a huge difference. But she wouldn't have known that if she hadn't asked for the feedback before, right? So really just get out of your head, get out of your way and really think about what is this person, what is this mom and dad experiencing? Why did they say no? Did I come off as standoffish? Um, did, I, did my center have a weird smell? Um, was it too dark? Was it too quiet? Was it too loud? Right? You'll be surprised at what moms and dads are going to share with you if you ask them. And guess what? Once you know, then you can fix it, right? You can fix the problem and then you can just keep optimizing from there. But if you don't ask, you're just going to be spinning your wheels, um, you know, posting all the time, getting people in the door and then just not enrolling kids in your program. Um, and that's completely going to defeat the purpose of you running an amazing home daycare. So there you have it, you guys. If you're having a hard time enrolling, your tour process, your sales pitch may be the problem. Now, listen, if you are a home daycare provider and you need help with your marketing, you know that you have to be showing up online, but you're just having a hard time with knowing what to do, what to say. Um, you know, you don't have the time to be posting on social media and you need help. I'm running an open house in just a few days where I'm going to open up the doors and really share with you how I help my clients grow their businesses, their home daycares organically using social media. And I'd love to invite you to it. It's free to join. All you have to do is RSVP. Grab your spot. It's free to join and just show up and listen in. And then you will do a live Q&A at the end as well. So I'll put the link somewhere in the description of this video. Have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you guys real soon. Bye for now.